Hey guys, so my wife said something really funny to me the other day. Whenever we were talking, we she wanted me to do something. And then whenever she was thinking about it, she said, wait, did I say that or did I just think that? It's like sometimes we get to this point where we think that people can read our minds, right? And we forget that we have to actually verbalize it. And that's kind of like... It's kind of how we live our life a lot, you know, like we are so much in our head that a lot of times things don't come out of our mouths, especially not the way that we think that they should and sometimes not at all. And so I just want to encourage us. The Bible says that the power of life and death is in the tongue. Now, it's not in the mind. OK, the mind can think something, but if it doesn't speak it, then it's not there right? That that power comes from the tongue. So whenever we say something, right? So I want, I want to just encourage you, you know, sometimes your prayers need to be verbal. Sometimes whenever you, you know, like are, you know, saying, God, I want this or God, you know, like I want to push this forward or, you know, like just saying, not today, Satan. Those the words need to be coming out of your mouth. Because there's power whenever you speak something out. Look, um, I was always told that, you know, whenever you look at New Year's resolutions, because those are coming up for some people, a lot of people, if you if you don't tell anyone what your goals are, what you're, what you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to do, you are so much less likely to accomplish what it is that you're trying to do. Because you don't have people that are, at the very least, expecting it from you. But whenever you speak it out, whenever you say, no, I'm going to do this, or no, you know, like this thing comes forth out of you and all of a sudden there's some newness to it there's a force behind it the hebrews believed that whenever you spoke something that you know it it went out there was no way to get it back and it went out to accomplish what it was said which is why whenever we look at isaac accidentally accidentally um blessing jacob israel instead of esau you know like we we see it and it's not like he can say oh never mind we're gonna do we're gonna what I said about Isaac on accident, we're going to say about Esau. No, he, he couldn't do that. He had to, he said, I've already spoke it out. He couldn't just take it back. And so in the same way, I mean, there's power in the things that we say. So what goals do you have? What do you want? What is the thing that's holding you back, right? And you say, no, I'm not doing that anymore. Speak it out. Use the power that God gave you if we're made in his image and likeness and he spoke the world into existence the universe into existence man isn't there power in our tongue thanks for taking a minute